This is the evolution of the Brachiosaurus, starting off as just this. As you can see here, there is absolutely no foot padding. Also, there is a dragging tail. The head itself also looks quite funky, a bit like an outdated hadrosaur skull. But anywho, this is the earliest Brachiosaurus model I could find. We still have the tail dragging, however, the body itself is much more recognizable. There is some semblance of foot padding. And the head itself, even though the nostrils are placed in an outdated area, it's a recognizable face. At least it is anyway. They also think that sauropods are all semi-aquatic. Jurassic Park's Brachiosaurus is super self-explanatory, really. It's got foot padding, a slender neck that resembles more of a giraffe titan. The head itself is incredibly recognizable, though. The nostrils are now placed correctly, not right in front of the fenestrae, but towards the front of the skull. As you can see here, the neck became much more robust. It became much thicker, like an actual brachiosaurus, as well as that its foot padding is incredibly prevalent, as you can see here. Now this Brachiosaurus over here, like other reptiles and birds, non-avian dinosaurs should have these dewlaps, and the Brachiosaurus over here has them, which is quite nice to see. Otherwise, not much has changed, although the skull has definitely become a bit rounder when it comes to that head dome. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below.